Hello everyone, let me introduce the basic components of DLGK 373DCS process control training system. It's made up of two main parts. The first part is the control unit and that part is the execution unit. Control unit including PLC control modules, inverter control modules, intelligent instrument control modules. These two are DC acquisition modules. Below the power and the signal part transfer modules, this is touch screen. Activating unit including water storage tank, work tank, button and water tank of the boiler. This pump line is a single phase pump, water pump, follow sensor, electric control value, solenoid value. Water can be supplied to water supply tank, water supply tank and the boiler through pipes. Here is a three phase pump. Water supply to boiler and water supply tank can be provided by piping. This is the basic structure of 373. Now let's talk about the one way piping. Water cancels out the reservoir on the side through value F11. Inlet to pump. Then go through the water pump. Then go through the follow sensor. There are two branches. One way is solenoid value and the other way is the electric control value. Electric control value has two hand values F12 and one F13. After summarization, there are two more branches here. F14 is used to supply water to boiler jacket. F15 is used to supply water to the boiler. There are two ways up. F16 is used to water supply to water supply tank. Another branch, F17, feeds the tank. Now let's talk about the piping of three-phase pump. Outlet from water storage tank. Through value F21. To three-phase pump. Then through the flow meter. Then go two ways. One pipe is to supply water to the boiler. The other pipe is to supply water to the water supply tank. This is the intake line for three-phase pump. Now I will explain the outlet line of the upper tank. Outlet water through this pipe F31. Here is an overflow pipe without values. Let's talk about the outlet piping of the swear tank again. This is outlet pipe F32. The pipe without values and in overflow pipe. Here is the outlet pipe of the boiler. The boiler is divided into the inner and outer layers. Here is the water coming from the inner boiler. Here is the water coming from the external boiler. Now let's talk about the power supply of the equipment. This is a water storage tank. The water storage tank needs to be filled with the water before the experiment begins. Need to be adapted to the middle of the water level scale. That is 2 by 3 of the entire tank. Purified water is required. Make sure that the top half is free of excess water. Connect plug to power supply with ground wire. A switch opens at the back of the side. Turn on the key switch. Here is a 24 volt power on switch. Here is a master control up here and DUP control. This is the electric control value and a solenoid value switch. Here is the heating switch. These three modules are 220 volt power on. Both modules need 24 volt power from here. Touch screen also need 24 volt power from the K3 terminal.
Now let's talk about water supply to the water supply tank through a single phase pump. Firstly, close the power switch. Turn on the emergency key switch. Water pump power on. Solenoid value and 24 volt power on. Water supply to water supply tank through value. Pump follow. Meter pipe. The following instructions describe water supply to the water supply tank through a three-phase pump. Connect A4 test line before water supplied. Connect the yellow terminal to the yellow terminal. Connect the green terminal to the green terminal. Connect the red terminal to the red terminal. You also need to connect the start signal to the inverter. SD and STF connections are positive. SD and SDR connections are reversed. Here is adjust according to the direction of the pump. SD to RH connection is high speed. SD to RM connection is middle speed. SD to R connection is low speed. Now connect to the high speed after wire connections and screw emergency stop. Turn on the key switch. Turn on the inverter power switch. Start automatic ROM. Now let's talk about the PRC module. Acquisition of pressure or level and control of the upper water tank. Water can be supplied through tank pumps. Three-phase water pump can also be used to water supplied. We need to supply water through a single-phase pump. Firstly, let's connect the signal well. Water tank level sensor. There are four inputs into the program. Insert whichever you write. Now plug in the first. Connect the black terminal to the black terminal. In this way, the liquid level of the upper water tank can be controlled by PLC. If you want to control the loading of water through this analog, if connected by a three-phase pump, just go through the inverter. You can give either 0 to 5 volt or 4 to 20 MA. Single phase pumps are regulated by an electric regulating value, plugged directly into the input signal of the solenoid value. For intuitive display of PS linear value, connect power to the touch screen. Connect the communication line between the touch screen and the PLC. Start power supply when connected. Swing up the start button, turn on the key switch, and switch on 24 volt power module. Solenoid value and water pump delivery power on. PLC module power on. Tap on the touch screen. Close water outlet of upper water tank. There is now a liquid level in the upper tank. Touch screen displays actual values. The number is read by PLC. The control signal number of PRC is controlled by an electric regulating value connected by a line. Here display the inputs and outputs of the electric control value. Now let's go to the next part, how to collect the liquid level and upper water tank with intelligent instruments. 
instrument is controlled by an electric control value. Wiring now. Each sensor on the side corresponds. You can choose the boiler upper tank or lower tank. By the pressure main pump, auxiliary pump. Choose the one you want to control. Now connect to the level to the tank. Instrument output connect to electric control value. Power can be delivered after receiving. This is the level of the upper tank. Parameter adjustment of the specific instrument set according to instructions. This control signal directly controls the electric control value. The same goes for the last. Liquid level functions control electric control value or inverter. Heating functions control the heating modules here. The following describe the collection and the control of water tank level through DCS acquisitions module. Defined wiring as appropriate. Connect the first sensor signal assuming the first pass. The control signal is connected to the terminal in the sensor area. The control mode is the terminal of voltage connection type to connect current and current type terminals. Now let's choose to connect the current type terminals. Connect water pump and electric control value. Power supplied after signal tracking. The red terminal is to the red terminal. The blue terminal is to connect to the blue terminal. There is also a module after voltage is connect. 485 acquisition modules. Connect the DCS acquisitions module and computer. Then power on. DCS module lights up. Single phase water pump solenoid value power arm. Here is a fluid level on the side and the follow can be adjusted by the hand value. Search DCS modules by computer. This software can search the level information of DCS modules Configure COM port search. Search modules address and parameters to the factory default through software. It can be programmed in the software and controlled. Input adjust 14 and output adjust 15. This adjust can be written by software. The software name is DCON. Software provide separately by DCS modules. Now I'm just going to briefly explain the upper tank. Boiler, lower water tank, follow rate, similar operation. Now I'm going to explain the operation of the touch screen. This is the main interface. 
All data is connected to the DLC. Touch screen display for experiment. This is temperature. PV is the current values. SV is the set value. Start, stop, return to the main interface. The second is the upper tank. PV is the current value. SV is the set value. Start, stop, return to the main phase. The third is the double tank experiment. Two current values and one set value. Start, stop, return to the main interface. The fourth is the flow. PV is the current value, LV is the set value. Start, stop, return to the main interface. Now the last step. When the experiment is complete, all the water is in the tank. This water cannot be sought for a long time. Drain after finishing the experiment, this is the drain line of water tank. Open value and drain water automatically.